Okay, so I'm going to show you the setup to get the machine prepared to, to make this cut. So the first thing I need to do is get the Shapeoko turned on. I've uh, just connected, I'm using a carbide motion here. I've connected to my to my machine and I'm first thing it does is come up and does the initialize. So it'll go to home. Then it'll go to this center position up here and tell me to, to make a tooling change. And since the first thing I'm going to do is use my corner finder up here, I need this special quarter finder bit. It's just a straight one quarter inch bit that uh, you use with the corner finder. So. When it tells me to change tools, I do that. Go over here, let it figure out how long that tool is. Steal the little button back that seems to attach to it, and then I'm ready to go. So, I tell the machine to jog, and what I want to do is put it over I don't know if you've ever used one of these. I just just got this one. It's much nicer to use than the old one. Uh, seems to be more accurate too. So you, you put your corner finder over this corner feature. As I said, this is your uh, tooling zero. Put that over. Got a magnetic attachment to your to your bit, and then you move your. Move your bit where it's down inside of that hole ever so slightly. Oops, that didn't go in without, without hitting anything. There we go. Okay, when you have the corner finder uh, over your tooling zero, when you have the bit installed, the magnetic attachment on there, everything ready to go. Uh, if you have the bit slightly down inside the hole, you tell this thing to probe, you know, probe the corner. So what it will do is it will go off and measure. I'm going to hold that. You saw the little light turn red as it touched one side of that hole, then the other. By using that uh, one quarter inch rod or the eighth inch, if you're doing an eighth inch cut, uh, the software actually figures out exactly where the center of that hole is just by touching each side without having to worry about how thick your, your tooling is. So it's found the XY0 coming back, going down to touch the top, and now it knows the Z height. So simple as that. I've got my tooling uh, corners defined as zero right here. Uh, just the way this uh, new software works, this new zero finder, and the bits that are here, uh, when you change tools and everything else, it keeps track of the Z height for you. So that's the setup right there. Just for fun, I'm going to tell it to go to my current XY, go down to six millimeter above the work surface, and that's what you end up with all set up as far as the cutter's concerned to make that first cut.